What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and do you like money? Because I like money. You could win some money by entering Treeb Talks AAF Picks. All you have to do is go to the most recent pick video, comment your picks down below, or you can join the Treeb Talks AAF Picks Facebook group. I will leave a link in the description down below, as well as pinned in the comment section as well. The prizes you can win is $100 via the Cash App, a $100 Amazon gift card, or a pair of Apple AirPods. So don't miss your opportunity to earn some of those dope prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking Jags. Hit that intro. Fournette, Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. So, ladies and gentlemen, today what we're going to be talking about, it's going to be a little bit of a Treve Talks rant. I know you guys like it when Treve gets on here. He's a little bit angry, and he likes to vent his feelings. Now, the news today that Joe Flacco went to the Denver Broncos, and there's been news that Nick Foles and the Jags have mutual interest, and that's kind of been going around um, since the offseason really began, uh, that Nick Foles and the Jags have mutual interest. And in the beginning stages of that news, uh, like towards the beginning of the offseason, I didn't really have a problem with it. But now that I'm sitting back, I'm relaxing, I'm realizing what this organization is doing, and I am not about getting Nick Foles or any stopgap guy. I'm just saying if the Jags do not do everything in their power to draft Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins at number 7 or trade up to get him, ladies and gentlemen, this franchise has no interest in winning games so ladies and gentlemen this is why the Jaguars have no interest in winning games if they don't draft Haskins or Murray now this could be a hot take not knowing how Dwayne Haskins or Kyler Murray are gonna do in the NFL and you maybe come back to this video and laugh at me but at least as of right now if the Jags don't draft Haskins or Murray this organization has no chance and no belief in itself that it's going to win games anytime soon and fuck they might even just leave Jacksonville because here's the thing if the Jags do the conservative thing and they do what the Jags have been doing in the draft for the last 20 plus years and they go and they draft like a defensive tackle in the first round and then they wait until the second maybe even the third to draft a quarterback why why do that why go out and draft a D tackle and wait until the second or third round to get a guy like Daniel Jones or Drew Locke? Those guys are right here. Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray are right here. Why take a chance on a lower rated player in the second or third round to be your quarterback? You know, and, and in that case, that's probably, we're probably going to get Nick Foles. But why would you want Nick Foles? mentoring because that's another thing that just grinds my gears i seen it today um on facebook that we need we need to get a guy like nick Foles to mentor the quarterback that we're bringing in why would we have nick Foles mentor either drew lock or daniel jones when they are both about just as good as nick Foles? you know they're gonna be probably at that level like a backup quarterback and they probably won't win a super bowl you know and the people that do want nick Foles, you want all that money gone to nick Foles? really you want all that money to go to nick Foles? all that money to nick Foles to be our quarterback because he won one super bowl and he went off in the playoffs nick Foles is basically the equivalent of tim tebow that is what you're getting with nick Foles, not the player and not the throwing none of that but the moments that he's given, he's given the Eagles a Super Bowl. He's given them a pretty good playoff run this year until it unfortunately came up short. But, you know, he's not going to be our future quarterback. He's not going to win us games in the future in the regular season. He's not going to get us to a winning record. He's not going to get us to the playoffs. Look at the division. you got so much young, exciting quarterbacks in that division. Deshaun Watson. Andrew Luck, who I guess technically isn't that young anymore, but, you know, one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Deshaun Watson, Andrew Luck, Marcus Mariota, when he wants to put it on, Mariota's a pretty good quarterback. And what we're going to do is we're going to draft, I mean, we're going to get Nick Foles in free agency, draft Drew Luck or Daniel Jones. And that is what's going to win us the AFC South after we cut all those people. We don't make any blockbuster trades. 
that's what's going to happen. Nick Foles is our guy through and through, and he's going to take us to an AFC South championship with all the players that we cut and, you know, a rookie defensive tackle and maybe, like, no free agents that we picked up because we used all of our money to get Nick Foles. It's like you are dooming the organization if you do that at that point. Because the amount of money Nick Foles is going to have to get and the cap situation the Jags are in, even with maybe a restructured Calais Campbell contract, cutting some guys, like, we cannot afford to do that. Especially because we're only probably going to have Nick Foles for one full year. If we go out and we get Nick Foles, there's going to be one probably full year of Nick Foles unless the... John Filippo or Doug Marone gets really tired of his shit and we start Drew Locke or Daniel Jones and then they go in there and then you realize, wow, we really fucked this up because we don't have a quarterback again. And the Jags haven't had a quarterback since Mark Brunel. Now, what will fix this and what the Jags should do if they have any intention at all in winning games next season is they should draft Kyler Murray or draft Dwayne Haskins. Like I said in the beginning, Dwayne Haskins, Kyler Murray are up here. The rest are down here. There's no argument to be made. I think the general consensus out of everybody, you know, college experts, NFL experts, people that do mock drafts, I think everybody 100% agrees with that. The only knock on Kyler Murray is his size. But goddamn, is that boy exciting. And there's an opportunity, there's a chance that Kyler Murray might even be there at 7. If you don't pick Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins when they're staring you in the face at number seven, you have no interest in improving this franchise. And that's why I'm just getting so sick and tired of it. Like, this might be the the straw that breaks the camel's back. Is If the Jags go and get Nick Foles, draft Drew Locke, Daniel Jones, Jags go 5-11, and they keep going 5-11, and and they probably will win like five games. So that will fuck them over of getting the first three picks and then we're gonna have to trade up again to get another guy like Herbert, Tua, whoever we're looking for next season and then everybody in the Jags community. Why would we trade draft picks? Everybody, you have to. You legitimately, legitimately have to. If you want to get your guy of the future, you want to go and get your quarterback, you have to trade draft picks. That's what the Chiefs did to get Patrick Mahomes. That's what the Bears did to get Mitchell Trubisky. That's, you know, all these teams did this in order to get their quarterback. They traded. And more often than not, it has worked. You know, and then people also want to get a good stopgap guy and have Haskins or Murray sit behind him. When has that ever worked? Besides the greats, when has that ever worked? Well, you know, let's no one in the comment section say Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers because that they're the greats. That happened. That was tremendous. And Aaron Rodgers was already really touted out of high, out of college. So, you know, I think Aaron Rodgers would have been good basically anywhere he went. Let's let's think about it. Baker Mayfield. That's basically what the Browns did. They went. They got Tyrod Taylor. They're like, we're gonna ride it out with Tyrod, and then bam, Baker comes in. You know, we're going to ride out with Tyrod a whole year. What does Tyrod do? Tyrod just shits the bed. And Baker Mayfield comes in, plays amazing. What would, how would you, what would you know, dude? Like, Baker Mayfield was ready to play. Let's go to Houston a couple years ago. They played the Jags week one. They decided, hey, we're going to start with Tom Savage. Deshaun Watson's going to get molded. The Jags just butt-fucked the Texans. And then finally, Deshaun Watson came in at the end of the first game. I'm saying if we're going to do that route, get a veteran quarterback, bench Haskins or Murray, I guarantee you whoever that stopgap guy is going to fuck up and Dwayne Haskins, Kyler Murray, whoever we draft, is going to be in by week two and week three. And then we're already 0-2, 0-3, and and, you know, we're already in a hole. That's what the Browns found themselves in when they didn't start Baker Mayfield right away. They were in a deep hole. This team could have made the playoffs, maybe, if Baker Mayfield was starting the whole entire season. I'm not about that. If we need a stopgap guy, we better know something about these rookie quarterbacks that nobody else knows. Because that's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How conservative can this organization be year after year after year? When are we going to go and pull the trigger and go out and get our guy? We pulled the trigger, got our guy in 2014. It was the wrong option. It was Blake Bortles. And then we stuck with him, stuck with him, stuck with him. And I think both of these quarterbacks are arguably 
better uh, scouting, you know, better targets than Blake Bortles ever was. Better prospects, I should say, than Blake Bortles ever was. And these are two quarterbacks that the fans will be so excited for. You want asses and seats at your game? Go and draft Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins. Go do it. Because that's what's going to happen. You're going to put asses in seats. There's going to be a new generation of the Jags. And everything is going to work out. And a perfect world that I think the Jags should do is they should trade up for Dwayne Haskins. Because there's no guarantee Kyler Murray's at 7. So you trade up for Haskins. You give up your first rounder this year, your first rounder next year, and maybe a player. I'd trade up probably to Oakland. And then we could trade two first rounders, maybe a Tashawn Gibson or something. Malik Jackson, maybe if we still have him on the roster, to trade up to get Haskins. And then, you know, you make your cuts, you make your trades. And then when you make the cuts and the appropriate trades that you've built around them, also sign some guys. So what I would like to see the Jags do, because people are arguing that if we put Dwayne Haskins in there, or a rookie quarterback in there, they're not going to be ready. We don't have a good enough offense to sustain a, you know, a quarterback, a rookie quarterback to come in and be successful. For one, it's a new system for everybody. So John Day Filippo is going to be Dwayne Haskins' first offensive coordinator, and hopefully he's going to be his last offensive coordinator. Hopefully he figures it out and shows him the ropes. Also, this offensive line, not as bad as you guys think it is. What, what we're going to have coming in is we've got Brandon Linder at the center, Norwell, and uh, Cam Robinson. Those are three extremely solid pieces. Not A lot of offensive lines don't even have one or two solid pieces. So we got three of those. We get maybe a tackle guard free agency, and then Will Richardson, he fills in there, and I think he's going to fill in pretty nicely. So this offensive line is not necessarily a huge deal. Now everyone wants to point to the wide receiver position. D.D. Westbrook is a 1,000-yard receiver with a competent quarterback. I guarantee you that. So you got D.D. Westbrook, Marquise Lee, who's coming off an injury. D.J. Chark, who I don't think reaches full potential last year, and a lot of people are going to hate on me in the comments saying, no, D.J. Chark's terrible, but I really believe in him. I think he can do something. And then, you know, we go out, we, dra we draft a wide receiver in the second and third round, and then, you know, maybe pick up a guy in free agency like a Cole Beasley. And then, you know, this offense is pretty much set. Like, we have Leonard Fournette. You want Leonard Fournette to try? You want Leonard Fournette to have a reason to come to work every day and to work hard, to have incentive? Give him a good fucking quarterback. You want this defense to come out every week and play how it can play 100% of the time? Get a new quarterback. Get a quarterback that's going to bring some excitement. You want some excitement in Duval. You want your fans to be happy. You want your players to be happy. You need to draft your franchise quarterback this year in the first round. And his name either has to be Dwayne Haskins or Kyler Murray. And that was why the Jags should draft Kyler Murray or Dwayne Haskins. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, also at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you're feeling also generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Troop Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.